This is all okay. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about New Year's. Yes, the first day is uh, year of the modern Gregorian calendar as well as Julian calendar used in the Roman Empire since 45 BC. Hmm. You know, which, uh, the, the New Year's Day was dedicated to Janus. What? The god of gates, doors, and the beginnings of whom the first month of the year is named. And then later, as a date in the Gregorian calendar of Christianism, Gregorian as in Greek Orthodox folks, uh, New Year's Day uh, liturgically marked the feast of circumcision of Christ and is still observed as such in the Anglican Church and Lutheran Church. Uh, in present day, with most countries now using the Gregorian calendar, as their de facto calendar, New Year's Day is probably the most celebrated public event. You know, actually, everybody celebrates New Year's of Day. Of course, it's, the, it's, a, it's a time of celebration, and there real and there's no religious connotation one way or another. But they're trying to make it. You know, the the, the left is trying to get you to tell. It. Actually, you've been told today that the Obamacare does not approve of you going out and celebrating. So. Yeah, because it's bah humbug, the uh, Scrooge. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? In history, in Christendom, under which the Gregorian calendar developed, New Year's Day traditionally marks the Feast of the Circumcision of Christ, which is still observed as such by the Anglican Church and the Lutheran Church. Oh, there we do. We do have religion brought into it. Mm -hmm. Most of people do not think of New Year's Day as religious. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have this. Uh, after Julius Caesar reformed the calendar and was subsequently, subsequently murdered, the Roman Senate voted to deify him on January the 1st in honor of his life uh, and, and his institution, a newly rationalized calendar. The month owes its name to the deity Janus who had two faces. That's actually... Uh, oh, one looking forward and one looking backwards, mm -hmm. which is a good reason why. Yeah. Some of uh, the suggested near celebrations are founded in pagan tradition. Yeah, everything is found in pagan tradition. Because pagan tradition started first. That's right. Because it, it revolved around agriculture, the seasons, and changing. Yeah, some of uh, some have suggested this occurred in 153 BC uh, when it stipulated that two annual consuls after the name of the year were identified entered the public office on that day. Dates in March coinciding with spring orthodox uh, and the annotation of Jesus along with the Christian feast dates were used throughout the Middle Ages, though calendars often continue to display the months and columns of December and January. And among the seventh century pagans of Flanders and the Netherlands, it was custom to exchange gifts at the new year. This was a pagan custom deployed by St. Elegius, Elegius, who warned that Flemings and Dutchmen do not make that it was, the little figures of the old woman, little deer or iodicos, or set tables for the house elf at night, or exchange new year gifts, or supplies to superfluous drinks. Another little type custom. The quote is from the Veda of Elegius, written by his companion. Yeah, and most countries in Europe officially adopted January 1st as New Year, they somewhat before they adopted the Gregorian calendar. <laughs> in England, until the adoption of the calendar in 1752, the first day of the New Year was a feast of annotation on March 25th, called Lady Day. The March 25th, okay, because of this date of the Feast of Circumcision, it's going to be the eighth day of Christ's life, counting from September the 25th. When his birth is celebrated, that they were Christian in the beginning of the new year by Pope Gregory as he designated the liturgical calendar. Then we got other New Year's Day and other calendars. Question. In cultures which traditionally are currently used calendars other than the Gregorian, New Year's Day is often also an important celebration. Some countries can currently use a Gregorian and another calendar. New Year's Day is in the alternative calendar tracks alternative celebrations of that new year. For example, Chinese New Year is celebrated in many countries around the world and it's supposed to be the lunar calendar and is corrected for the solar every three years. The holiday normally falls between the 20th of January and 20th of February. Yes, it does. Okay. And the holiday, it changes all the time. The holiday is celebrated with food families, lucky money. You begin you know, those uh, little red envelopes. Yeah. Actually, they just call it, they, it's um, when the kids tell the elder relatives happy new years they give them an envelope of money yeah. and many other red things for good luck for example they have lion and dragon dances toward and with um the drums fireworks and firecrackers and what that does is you know some people think of it as it for entertainment but symbolism was that it wards off the evil spirits you know it's the only okay it's the only religion you're actually allowed to celebrate in public which is funny 
because you can't actually have religious celebrations uh, 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 basically uh, uh, allowed by states and communities and cities and stuff where Chinese New Year is because there's such a large Chinese population and they bring lots of tourists for the celebration. I hadn't thought about that. I remember when we did firecrackers when we were younger, Dad always used to say, he says, just to the firecrackers, just tell them you're celebrating Chinese New Year. That's right. <laughs> well, I remember growing up, my, when my, you know, because when my father had a squad car, because we, motorcycle officers in bad weather drive squad cars, they just don't let them sit around. They'd be people firing firecrackers off uh, around Chinatown, and he would pull up and tell, you know, I'm going to be in a car because I get to be the right in those days. Mm -hmm. uh, because they took the cars home in those days, they don't need more. But, uh, and the same with the motorcycles. And he'd go out, and, you know, what do you think? You're, doing? You're celebrating Chinese New Year. And he said, it's not Chinese New Year. Well, do you know when Chinese New Year is? Mm -hmm. And that would get my father all the time because you never. Exactly I know, and it changes to all the time. So he let him get away. And, and be between which one is the official Chinese New Year and the celebrated Chinese New Year? Uh, I mean, we've been, yeah. we've been, we've been, we've done the thing uh, quite a few times, and it, you know, is they're celebrating it here and they're celebrating it someplace else a week earlier or later. Mm -hmm. so. They do, depending on what country. And the Vietnamese New Year, more commonly known, well, known by its short name of Tet or Vietnamese Lunar New Year, is the most important and popular holiday and festival in Vietnam. And it normally falls the same time as the Chinese New Year between the 20th of January and the 20th of February. Yeah, I'm going to try to explain something to people. I happen to be in that battle. We won, the, we won it. <laughs> we didn't lose it. Not... Walter Cronkite may have said we lost, we won the battle. So, mm. <laughs> that, um, um, so in the Vietnamese New Year, it marks the arrival of the spring based on the Chinese calendar or the lunar solar calendar. Um, the name, it, the Vietnamese uh, translation is... Dan. Oh, you can pronounce it? Uh, yeah, Tet oh. Nguyen Dan, a Sino-Vietnamese, for feast of the first morning, uh, derived from the Hanong characters, the Shinaz, New Year celebrated in Sri Lankan culture predominantly by... I was there for a while. I didn't say old oh, Cam knows better Asian you know, Asian languages than I do. <laughs> the Chinese <laughs> New Year, a lot of her dua, marks the end of the harvest season by the month of Ba. Uh, between April 13th and 14th, there is an astrologically generated time gap between the passing year and the New Year, which is based upon the passing of the sun, Mina Raya, which is the house of Pisces, and the uh, Mesha Raya, house of Aries, the celestial moon. Um, the astrological time difference between the New Year and the passing year is celebrated with several Buddhist rituals and customs that are to be concentrated on, which are exclusive of all types of work. After Buddhist rituals and traditions are attended to, they do social gatherings and parties with the, with the aid of firecrackers. Yeah, the change of gifts, death, <laughs> cleanliness, the lighting of the oil lamp, making heba, which is rice, milk, and even Asian coal, there are significant signs of the Chinese New Year. Well, I'm going to explain something different. There's two people in this room. One of us is Asian, and one of us doesn't do anything in Asian language. Guess yeah. who? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't. Uh, <laughs> we don't. Um, uh, um, which is basically most of these countries nobody has ever heard. Of. I've never even heard of these countries, and we do news. I know. Uh, oh, the Thai New Year. Yeah. Thai New Year is celebrated <laughs> April 13th or 14th. Yes, that's basically the song. Why in the world do they? Gone. Yeah, they splash water on another. Yeah, it's a lot oh, of to water. bless each other. Like, yeah. like in church, they're, they're going to bless each other. Yeah, that's what they do. In the okay. Like, so Hindu. Yeah, basically Hindu and Hindu. His we got to be able to say that thing. Okay, probably not. Uh, okay, but the Hindu actually the Hindu New Year is very similar to the Thai New Year. Thai is April thirteenth or fourteenth. The Hindu New Year is April 14th or 15th. Is there a reason why they're so close? I don't know. And the word is uh, Varam and Shambhat. Oh. According to the New Year on the first day of the Sharita month, also known as Sharita Shukala Partipa and it's basic Padwa. No. And it's basically the first month of the Hindu calendar. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> normally this comes around 23rd to 24th month. It's spring Orthodox. Spring Equinox. Yeah. yeah, see, remember we were talking about it being around the seasons. Yes. Uh, here we got the Islamic uh, Hajj New Year. You know, I cannot sound out Arabic. I know. But and it marks. The Hajj New Year, and then you go to the day that marks Shana Aharaja. Oh, and it marks the beginning of a new Islamic calendar year. New Year moves from year to year because the Islamic calendar is a lunar calendar. 
and the first day of the year is observed on the first day of Muharram, the first day in the Islamic calendar. I don't know. Actually, this one. See, they're, Guan based, they're based Timbuksha. on the moon. Yeah. This one you should do. Timbuktu, Wales. Celebrated the 13th of January on the Julian calendar. The Israel uses the Gregorian calendar, not, uh, but does not formally celebrate New Year's holiday, mainly due to objection by religious parties. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, basically. However, there are Israel and Jews who are taking some for the of the family of Jews. Oh, and then the Japanese New Year is celebrated on January 1st because they now use it instead of the Chinese calendar. I wonder if they started that when the Chinese and Japanese were warring. No, <laughs> they started that when we kicked their butts in. Oh, and yeah. so then they went to our calendar? Yeah. So Korean New Year is the first day of the lunar calendar, and the Koreans celebrate the solar New Year on January 1st, following the Gregorian calendar. And, and, uh, she doesn't like to say the word. Is this what? Solar. Solar. Well, just, yeah, okay, so Korean New Year. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You can hear me sounding it out, right? It basically, it actually should pronounced as it looks. This is a city of Seoul. Ah, Seoul. Oh, Seoul. Yeah. Like the Seoul, Korea. Yeah. And then we got down, um, they're playing games such as, uh, uh, say, Young No Ri, the family. So they mm -hmm. give respect to their parents, grandparents, and relatives. Which is good. They're... They're respecting the elders. Well, they're all respectful to the elders. And then the Ethiopian New Year is September 11th or 12th. Now, this is the first time I've heard, never heard of one well, so late or so early. So that's like during the fall. It's because of the... Here's the funny part about New Ethiopia Year's? is that Ethiopia... Is oh, their seasons are probably different. Their seasons are different, but Ethiopia plays a massive part in God of all knows how many religions. Really? There's a lot of people that assume that the... Um, that the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the basically the uh, Indiana Jones, the first movie, mm -hmm. the Ark of the Covenant, that the Ark of the Covenant is stored in Ethiopia by uh, Greek Orthodox priests. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Now, the Sikh New Year is is celebrated as per the Nanak Shah, Shahi calendar, <laughs> yeah. okay, which is annually on what is the March 14th in the Gregorian Western calendar. Remember the other one, which was right in was it April or March? In April. The Hindu one yeah. and the, yeah. Okay, now we're getting into the English words now. Oh, this makes it much easier. Um, this so traditional. And what people do to celebrate New Year's. January 1st represents the fresh start of a new year as after a period of remembrance of the passing year. So this is, traditionally there's a big feast, there's fireworks. Um, it's just traditional. Where, you know, you have the end of the year articles, the review changed the previous year. Um, One of my favorites is always to see on the news, you know, the fireworks from around the world if you celebrate New Year. Yeah. That would be fun. Well, well, here's what you got, is that if you're really good, if you have a cable system, you can't do it on regular TV, you can watch the cable channels as they're celebrating New Year's around the world as it's being done. Actually, I love the Japanese New Year because Why? they cannot sing worth a darn but when you put them, it's they beautiful. have the most beautiful music you've ever heard. I mean, these, they've got orchestras and stuff. The only song that they can sing in Japan, in China, was not written by the Chinese, Japanese. It was Sukiyaki. <laughs> you da, like that song. Da, 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 da. But they sang that song like it was written for them, and it wasn't. So, mm. I mean, you, I, you go out there and hear them singing, squeaking, and stuff to these guys. With symphony orchestras playing their songs, and they sound like screeching, you know, like you're rep putting your fingernails on, uh, on, on, on a chalkboard, and then they get together with Sukiyaki, and it sounds like, where the hell did those people come from? So in Australia, the main, the, well, the big celebration is in Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it, it, it's actually, this day is traditionally religious feast, but since the 1900s become an occasion to celebrate, yeah, it basically is. If I eat, eat minute, drink and be merry. Which is basically tonight, um, it's going to be, if you Sydney, like they always like to do Sydney because it goes over the top of the opera house. Oh, I always love to see those beautiful pictures. Yeah, so uh, every guy, European countries, this, you know, this. They do know. private fireworks. I know, it basically means that they're not allowed to do it. Now anything. you can tell this is where people, it's warmer. On New Year's Day, people in certain countries gather on beaches and run into the waters to celebrate the New Year. No, I guess they do it in this country too, it's called polar bears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, he said it's popular in Canada, which is actually really cold, 
Ireland, UK, US, and Netherlands. It's they're perfect. all cold. They're all cold. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, they're. Oh, that's why you said the polar bear. They're called polar bear pl- plunges. Yeah. They raise money for charity. Then we got national celebrations. Happy Christmas! A New Year card in the UK. There are many celebrations across towns and cities, particularly in Scotland. 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 Mm. In London. Ooh, right you can see the fireworks along the River Thames. Oh. The big band. I, I, I've been there. And that's been cool. Like, oh. That's cool. You have? Yeah. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. In Scotland, there are many special customs associated with New Year's. Um, and these are part of the so- Scottish celebration called Hogmanay. Is that where they got Hogwarts? Yeah. Uh-huh. The famous street party in is Princess Street in Edinburgh is one example. That's the main street in Edinburgh. I know. Last I recall. Yeah, the main street. Yeah. Princess Street, yes. Yeah. Like, oh, Cardiff. I didn't really like Cardiff and Wells? Oh, they keep doing things on Doctor Who about Cardiff. That's mm. where they're there in Wells then. In recent Cyprus families were going to switch off the lights at midnight. So I think I'd rather have fireworks instead of switching on the lights and off. Uh, <laughs> they basically, they give coins away in the food they eat. Ooh, uh, don't bite hard. Yeah. In the Bahamas, the Junkanoo Parade takes place. In the Philippines, New Year's is considered part of the Christmas holiday. So, of course, they're Asian. They've got firecrackers. They're Asian. They, they get away. Remember, you can Asians can throw firecrackers anyway. I hope they don't get jealous. Mm. But they, they got, you know, because they got... Uh, but, okay, um, they, the New Year's parties are organized by the government, so <laughs> yeah, no, or, are, are well attended. That's it. And but, in Russia, another 14 former republics of the Soviet, Soviet Union, the celebration of Novi God is celebrated by fireworks and drinking champagne. I bet you there's a lot. I of bet vodka. there's also vodka. <laughs> yeah, a lot of vodka. Because they love the vodka there. Yeah, because religion was suppressed in the Soviet Union, New Year's holiday took on many attributes associated with Christmas in other countries, including Christmas trees. Basically, they, it's, here's a ridiculous thing, folks. The churches are worshipped in all, at all the time in the Soviet Union, even though they, they suppressed religion, they treated the artwork in the buildings as if they were national treasures. So, mm-hmm. uh, we got, you know, you got, you know, a very, and they got, I live at Demos, our very Santa Claus and Friday celebration, that including gifts in Moscow, the present Russia. Counts down the final seconds, just like the United States. They count and count it down too, and they do it at the Kran- the Kremlin's landmark Spassky clock tower, which happens to be the most beautiful church in the universe. Is the Kremlin? It is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, most people thing. don't think of it as a church, but it, it is, is a church. The, it is the, it is the headquarters of the Greek Orthodox religion. Oh, it is customary to make a wish while the clock chimes. Yeah. Over here, what do they do? They they yell and they scream and they kiss. Yeah, and they all have their New Year's. Uh, we, you know, they basically they they're well, you know they basically think they think for New Year's Day, which is basically the same thing. They're telling about the thing. For New Year's, we're going to not be we're not going to try to take over as many countries as we did last year. What? Yeah, that's mm. what they do. Yeah. In uh, Switzerland, the final match of the Spangler Cup ice hockey tournament is usually held on this day by tradition. Yeah, because they know the people are there to watch it. Mm-hmm. The United States is traditional spend this occasion together with loved ones. A toast is made in New Year's with kisses. That's really good. That yeah, one. and the biggest one, of course, is in New York Times Square with a ball going down, and it starts being lowered at 11:59 p.m. with a countdown. Yeah, I've been in Las Vegas for the past. I've actually, I've been in Disneyland when it happens. It's pretty easy in Disneyland. At midnight when it happens. Oh, and they said, why? What happens at Disneyland? They said, the fireworks? Yeah, well, yeah, they, they, they basically sort of kept fudging a bit in the fire spoke. Boom, 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 boom. And they get, and everybody, we're all acquaintance be. And you'll go much longer because that's in there. They sue you for singing that song nowadays also. And an estimated one million people celebrate New Year's Eve in Times Square. Yeah, and they don't get out until the next morning. Oh, <laughs> if you're, okay, if you got the best view at the... The best vantage point is the worst to be at because you cannot. There, you can't get out. Once you're there, there's no way to get to toilets. Oh. So, yeah. And in France, some regard the weather as the prediction of that year. Wind blowing east, fruit will yield. Wind blowing west, fish and livestock will be bumper. Wind blowing south, there will be good weather all year round. And the wind blowing north, there will be crop failure. People would like to toast for the new year. Yeah, yeah there's a. Everything that, remember, every, virtually every place has the same thing, which is bougie. 
Hmm. Which comes from the pagan side. Oh, here's one I've never heard of before. This is a Spanish one. So it's customary to have 12 grapes at hand when the clock strikes 12 at midnight. One grape is eaten on each stroke. Mm, that's because I'm assuming it has to do with the fact that they are a big country for growing wine. Mm -hmm. And it basically, they're, they're eating it because they're hoping for a good, uh, a good vintage. Good. And, if, and if all the grapes are eaten within the period of the strokes, mm -hmm. it means good luck in the new year. You know, here's what we've got there. You know, Wait, what it happens on New Year's Day? Separate more, you know, part of New Year's coming include the following like parades. And well, well, New Year's Day, what happens? Rose Bowl parade? Yeah. Well, or you, Tournament of Roses parade. Have, Rose Bowl game. You used to have the Mummer parade. You used to have lots of parades. But we're down to one now. We are? We're down to one. An Orange Bowl? Orange Bowl isn't even shown anymore. What? Orange oh, my Bowl gosh. And, and Orange Bowl, most of the... Detroit, most of these parades are no longer shown. Let's just say it's a day of football. Yeah, and in Europe it's a day of football. Mm -hmm. And hockey. Mm -hmm. And National League hockey. And concerts and entertainment. And for me, and eating too much and drinking too much. And then we got this one again, which we talked oh, about. Oh, an about. annual dip in ice cold water by hearty individuals. Most famously by members of the Polar Bear Club. Yeah, you'd have to be a polar bear club to take a New Year's plunge. Yeah, and this one, you know, this is the New Year's babies. Which Oh, it's a common image often used as an, um, as an editorial cartoon is that of an incarnation of Father Time or the old year wearing a sash across his chest with the previous year printed on it, passing on his duties to the baby new year. An infant wearing a sash with the new year printed on it. Yeah. Oh, you ever do a lot? I'm wondering. Okay, so they always do like the first baby of the new year. I mean, it is a big deal. I mean, they... That is, the, everyone hopes that the baby's going to be born. I mean, every TV station and radio They're station all in the United States is waiting for that first baby that's born, and then that baby becomes famous the rest of their life. Now, do they count C-sections? it all uh, has to be natural born? No, it's a baby that is born. Some people fudge and they try. The problem is that it, it, they, they start from the East Coast and come... Uh, west and mm -hmm. the ours is somebody on the east coast is always going to be the first baby born in the new year. Because yeah, because they're three hours ahead. Yeah, and because they cheat, they will have a C-section. Well, well, if they had a C-section, you schedule your C-section at a certain time, right? Yeah, the problem comes is it doesn't necessarily mean that it happens your that will happen because babies are still born when babies are born. Mm -hmm. You could be in the middle of a C-section and another baby is born somewhere else in the, on the east coast. So, mm -hmm. but that's our our unconventional. Traditional, you know, New Year's. Happy New Year's from Monty Bubbles too. Monty. Monty, do you want to say Happy New Year's? Oh, she decided to go take a nap now. Oh, she go. She said Monty has had too much beer and food. Here's to a fabulous New Year. Happy New Year's. <laughs> no.